Welcome to the Old Spice Report. I'm Julie Alexandria. Joining me here on the main stage is DMAC, and it's Sunday in Columbus, Ohio. And you all know what that means. Sunday means Championship Sunday, and we just saw Instinct take on Final Boss for back-to-back -back wins. They did it in Orlando. They did it again here in Columbus. It was an awesome matchup. Final Boss brought their A game, and still, Instinct showed how dominant they could be. They could really shut down anyone's game, and it's because of the players that they possess. Cloud, Roy, Elamite, Lunchbox, nasty. Amazing, amazing teamwork on their part. Let's go to the leaderboard and let's talk about in first place, Instinct doing phenomenally right now, followed by Final Boss, who did put up a good fight. Believe the hype in third place. In fourth place is Status Quo. Fifth place, The Warriors. Sixth place, Carbon. Seventh place, Classic. And in eighth place, rounding it out is Triggers Down. How these go with your predictions? Actually, they went very well with my predictions. In fact, I think I outscored Puckett this event. No way. Yeah, I, I crushed Puckett this event. But the real surprise was, which nobody predicted, was Warriors breaking into the top six. Mm -hmm. That was a big deal. Listen, these are players that were on the Doritos Combine, came out a really good noob, and now he's placing in the top six. That just shows the level of competition and the growth of Halo 3. And then triggers down, falling off. And the one name you don't see in there, straight ripping, not being in the top eight, for the first time in quite some time, they've been struggling the past few events. That was quite a surprise. What do you expect to see out of Warriors coming up? Honestly, we, we don't know too much yet. We've seen a lot of new teams come on the circuit and have success because not a lot of people know how they play. Now, everybody's going to keep a lookout for Warriors, and it's going to be interesting to see how they follow up. And let's talk about Final Boss for a minute, because they did put up a really good fight. We saw some really good game gameplay from them today here. So what did you see that you really liked from them? I really like this new lineup that Final Boss has. It's a very young lineup. They only went to one land with it. And, and if they continue to play with this team, I think they'll improve immensely. And I didn't think that all of the players played their A game. I thought Victory X was much better in Orlando. I expect him to have his game back up in, uh, at our next event. In Raleigh, our in next Raleigh. event. All right, well, they did a good job, but not good enough. They were dominated by Instinct. And I would like to mention two outstanding players on Instinct. They are actually our co-MVPs, the Old Spice Swagger MVPs. We would like to give it up for Roy and Cloud. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Thank you very much. Now, guys, Cloud, this is your second MVP in a row, your third, your third event in a row, taking the first place finish. How did you get so successful after having a stagnant first two years in Halo 3? Well, coming into the 09 season, back when I was on Believe the Hype, I, we practiced pretty much every day over the summer coming up to the first event, and I think that's when I got a lot better at this game and learned like so many new things about it. Uh, and now, Roy, you've been one of the most consistent players in this game for quite some time. Everybody knows that you have one of the best battle rifles in the game. How have you been so successful, and what does Cloud bring to the team now that he, like, how does he free you up? Cloud, Cloud just kills everything, so I mean, I just get the leftovers pretty much. I mean, when, he, when he's just, he's a tank pretty much. I mean, that's the, the main thing, he's a tank. And so pretty much I just come through and, and just do my job, and we all just do our part. I mean, I, I wish we could have four co-MVPs because without them, we, we wouldn't have won the tournament. Well, I think you're a tank in your own right. That was, that was sweet. <laughs> that was very, very nice. Very diplomatic. Here you guys go. I'd like to present you with the Old Spice Swagger Co-MVP Award. Congratulations, guys. There is more Old Spice report to come after the break, and we'll be joined by Elamite. So we hope to see you in a minute. Stick with us. Old Spice Older Blocker Body Wash is so powerful it can block BO for 16 hours. It's blocking powers as powerful as me. Yeah, it is. Who said that? Is that my left bicep? No, it was my abdominals. Ah, odor blocker body wash is too powerful to let this commercial in. Block! Building kit! Explosion! Power! Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using Lady's scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. 
Welcome back to the Old Spice Report. I'm Julie Alexandria. He's DMAC, and we are being joined by Elamite. Congratulations on back-to-back -back wins. Thank you. Now, we were just talking in between break, and you told me that it's never happened. Uh, I was actually surprised. I didn't know that stat. You've never won back-to-back -back events. It must feel good. It feels great. I tried all 2008 season. We just always would fall short, and to finally be on a new team and then come back and win back-to-back -back events means a lot. Yeah, you definitely proved it to straight ripping, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> now, moving forward, you have Raleigh at the next event. It's going to be important. I know you want to win three events in a row. You want to become the first Halo 3 dynasty. What are you guys going to have to do to ensure to make that happen? I think we just got to keep doing what we're doing. You know, we practice hard. Uh, we improve from each practice. And uh, we got a great group of guys, and we all play really well. So we're looking forward to the next event. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the Old Spice Report. Congratulations again on back-to-back -back wins you guys did, Orlando. Now you did it here in Columbus. We'll see what you can do in Raleigh. That's it for the Old Spice Report. I'm Julie Alexandria. We hope to see you in Denver for our Doritos Combine event, July 23rd to the 25th, and then at our next Pro Circuit event, August 27th to 29th in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you missed any of the broadcasts, be sure to check out MLGPro.com for all of the highlights. And that's about it. DMAC, did you want anything well, else? Yeah. Any shout-outs? Yeah, I wanted to thank Old Spice. Uh, they're not here right now, but thank great guys and helped us out a lot to win this event. All right, very nice. We, we thank Old Spice as well. All right, guys, that's it for the Old Spice Report. We'll see you next time.